Hi everyone, welcome to the beginning of our brand new series um, from World of Flowers. Now I have picked this page here, I think there's quite a few little elements that we can do for shorter videos and uh, I thought it would be a fun one to do. But I'm going to start with, do, with showing you actually how I'm going to do the background on this page. And I have this stencil, actually, let me put it against the background so you can see. Now, it's a brick wall stencil. Now, I've seen this picture done many times against a brick wall, but I thought I would use my new stencil, that well, newish stencil that I've been gifted and haven't used before, for the background. Now, you can, if you don't have a stencil for brick walls, you can do one with a ruler. Now, I have got a demo video I will share um, with you in the description of how to do bricks um, with a ruler and yeah it's fine but I thought as I've got this stencil I will use the stencil now ideally a stencil this one I would get a pastel and just go all over and it would be nice and easy but um, I thinking because we've got all this design I might do it in pencil um, I have never tried to use a stencil with pencil before. Stencil with pencil, it rhymes. Um, so I was not sure quite how to secure it so that it always stays in the same place, which was, I tried, I thought about some, um, I've got some washi tape, but I tried it on a rough bit and it, it ripped the page, so I thought, nope, can't do that. So I think I'm just going to have to hold it really still and draw each of these. Um, pastel will be a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, and I am still thinking that maybe I will just do that. I think I will. And I think I'm going to leave it till the end, not do it at the beginning, because um, it'll be easier. With pastel, um, pencil resists it, so we could go over the whole thing. And um, even where we've got pencil, it wouldn't um, affect it too much. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll leave it till the end. So we actually, today, will start colouring one of the pots, which will be fun. I think, um, or we could do the, um, we could do the wood. Let's do the wooden frame, actually, first. Now, I'm zoomed out quite a bit because um, you'll need to see everything. I think it should be okay. There's not a lot of detail for you to need to see. Now, I'm using my polychromos. I grabbed those because they've got good brick colours, but doing brick and pastel but it doesn't matter we can stick with them and now they're here and what I like to do with my wood is to do a base light color and then go over with darker so I'm going to grab a um, lightish color this is my favorite brown it's a nice warm brown color it's brown ochre this is a gosh I don't know if I'm too close I can't see if it's in focus I'm sorry so this is brown ochre and um, this is a brand new one ish it's been sharpened i think i don't think they come like that i think they do actually it might be brand new um and it's a it's a modern one because it's got the writing on the polys is in lowercase you can't see um on the old ones um the writing is in uppercase so when i'm doing wood i always think about the wood grain and the direction so i want to color these two side pieces in an up and down type movement. Let's be careful of our um, plant here. And uh, the across ways ones in an across movement, horizontal, I should say, so that we can start to get a sort of slightly stripy look to what we're doing. It's quite dark in here. I hope you can see. I can definitely zoom in a bit more. There we go. Um, the um, sun was coming in, so I had to shut the blind. My camera and my lamp have adjusted, but I'm not sure how well. It's leaving a few shadows because of the... I hope it's okay. Anyway, there's not much to see. I'm just colouring with one colour up and down. So uh, hopefully that's okay. Now I'm looking at these wooden slats, thinking about how I'd like them to look. And uh, I think i probably like them to look rounded slightly so I will take a second colour brown and try and make do some shadows to make them look a bit more rounded so oh, my stomach is rumbling can't be late a time for lunch already 
it can't be. I haven't done that much. I haven't done enough yet <laughs> for it to be that late in the day. Gosh, yesterday I was out and uh, I completely lost track of time. It was way past lunchtime when I got home. But uh, anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm usually very good at knowing what the time is. I don't know, I track time well. I keep an eye on it, but I also have a feeling about time. It's hard to describe. If someone says to me, what's the time? I can usually get it within 15 minutes. So when I don't know, I'm a bit not sure. Makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Okay, so going across this time with this movement, really simple. So I had a lovely um, meet up with a friend recently. I was chatting to her a little bit about her garden. I walk past her house most days because um, it's on the canal path. Her, um, her, her house wall is on the canal path and there's some beautiful, um, um, what are they called? <laughs> Flowers, <laughs> um, bluebells, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Sorry, my memory. Some beautiful bluebells which were just on the outside of her fence. It's a wall actually at the bottom and a fence at the top. And so I asked her if they'd come through onto the canal path from her garden, but she said no. She said she's been trying to grow some, but they those weren't from her, which was a shame because they were really pretty. But uh, hopefully, um, they'll perhaps they'll go through and she'll get them next year. But um, there was a purple one and a pink one, or a sort of pinky purple, sort of lavendery, lilac-y, I suppose. So that was nice. So, but those have gone over now. There wasn't. Um, didn't notice too many flowers around. It's quite fun. I uh, I was walking along, saw this old lady. I've not seen her before along the canal, and uh, she was looking at a um, uh, information board. So I thought maybe she was new. So I said hello and stuff, and she said uh, she said to me, "It's an exciting weekend coming up, isn't it?" <laughs> it was really sweet. We've got the bank holiday weekend coming up. Um, the Thursday and Friday of um, this week. The, yes, it will be this week when the video goes out. Our, um, our two bank holidays, as they call them in the UK, public holidays, um, for the um, Queen's Jubilee. And she said to me, are you patriotic? And I said, yes. So uh, it was um, that was rather nice for her to have a little chat. I'm just trying to work out what's going on here. This is the, um, yeah. So that was nice. That was sweet that she uh, brought it up. She was obviously excited, which was really nice. Okay, that's that colour. Now I'm going to go a bit darker. As I say, I, na I sort of tend to go darker um, as I go. Now, what's that colour? I think we'll move to the Van Dyke Brown which is this one, you can see it's a darker tone. And I want to try and make the um, post look rounded, so I'm going to put it on the edges and then fade it towards the centre. I don't know whether I want the across ones to look rounded as well. I think I do. I think they all should, really. Now I know this is supposed to be our sort of short afternoon videos but this one is going to be a bit longer because it's all the wood but uh, and the one when I do the background which will be at the end now I've decided I was was going to do it today and then I sort of, mm, changed my mind as you would have heard that one might be a bit longer as well but uh, the um, we we'll choose little bits and objects and things for um, little short videos um, I know a lot of you prefer a longer video anyway, but um, it's just really me. I can't do two a day that are both really long, or else uh, I don't have time to make one for every day, let alone two. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice making videos, but it's just, I've just got to make sure that I keep up on top of it. And... Uh, I can make quite a lot in a day, but I've got to edit them, and that takes time because it isn't 
so much the actual editing process that doesn't usually take me very long unless I have to edit bits out which is at rare it is the um, uploading and exporting so I have to get it off my camera onto my computer that takes time then well that's okay because I can do lots of other things but then I have to um, ed make the video um, put the cards at the beginning and picture at the end and that sort of thing. I've just got to wipe my nose, sorry. Then, um, once I've done that, I um, I have to um, put it up onto YouTube and it, go, it has to go up there and that takes ages. It's sometimes both the exporting and the uploading can take the amount of time of length of the video so it can be a long old process and what I like to do I explained this just recently on a video actually is I like to have the video made and scheduled on YouTube before I delete it off my camera just in case there's any sort of problem and my the video erases off my computer or something like that I want to make sure it's there so that limits me in that I can only record to the length of my SD card um, and then I have to do some editing but I'm usually out of um, voice by then anyway um, well not necessarily out of voice but out of things to say <laughs> people who know me well would wonder how I could possibly run out of things to say but it happens so I hope you can know what I'm doing it's hard for you to see when I'm so zoomed out I think but I'm basically making a line of this darker colour along the edge of every piece of wood to uh, to make it look more rounded. Now on the top bit, it wouldn't. These shelves would be flat on the top, I guess, not necessarily surrounded. So it might really only be the edge ones that need a lot of shadow. But these would be shadowed from the items that are on the shelf and there'd be a bit of shadow at the bottom just because of the position so. right so i'm going to work mainly on this end one to start with i'm going to go back to the um, brown ochre color and just work that color in so that we blend that darker color into this lighter one so what I'm hoping to achieve is a sort of light a bit down the middle and I think even though I'm zoomed out you should be able to see that that's what I'm doing. So I'm just colouring over both sides and bringing that colour towards the centre. And it just also adds another layer of colour so makes it more defined and uh, which polychromo is light layering being layered up. Um, it's the way to use them really. Now at the very bottom here we've got a few bits that need some darker again. So I'm going to grab the Van Dyke Brown again and really underneath here there's going to be some shadow so I'm going to put quite a hard layer there and look under here there's going to be a little bit of shadow and under here like that. I might carry that down just a bit. Okay, we're going to go and cross and do the same on this side. What I might try and do is zoom in so you can see, but uh, try and remember to move the page. So forgive me if I completely forget. Okay, so you can see that I've got this layer of colour with a bit on the edge, and I'm just going to over colour everything but put more layers on the edge and less towards the middle so that we can start to see a bit more shape in this piece of wood. I didn't do a dark bit there. It was just me grabbing the um, the Van Dyke Brown. How much can you see? There we go. 
Now I'm going to do a bit of the shadowing before I move the book too far away because we've got quite a lot going on on this side. I'm making sure that the colour goes right under here. Sometimes I'm a bit careless and uh, I don't get it all the way up to the edge of the um, sort of other objects. In this case, leaves. I'm just making sure I've done that this time. And then I'm going to get the Van Dyke brown again and we're going to do some shadows. So under this leaf there might be a little bit, um, here, and there, and then under the shelf, just carry it down a little bit more, under these, and it isn't loads, but hopefully it's enough to be seen, okay. Right, we're going to move up now. We're going to do this bit again. I just noticed I haven't done there the darker brown. And we'll go back to the light brown again. It's back and forth a little bit, that brown ochre, but uh, it's, uh, it's worth the effort, I think. I think... Um, makes a difference to, uh, to how it looks. It's a, bit, it's a bit pale. I'm going back and forth a bit. I don't know why I'm being so inconsistent, but we'll get there. There we go. Oops, and now back with the Van Dyke. You need it lower down. I probably was all horrible blur, wasn't it? Um, I can't see in my um, camera whether things are a blur or not, unfortunately. This screen's too small. But we haven't got much on this one to do. I'm just going to do a tab there. Cause it's... Okay, now I'm thinking about these longer shelves and quite what to do with those. I think. I definitely need another layer. I'm going to go back in with the brown ochre, but I don't think um, we want to make such a shine, so I think I might just go over all of it. And we'll still get that bit of shadowing that looks like it's coming from under the pot and at the bottom of the uh, shelf, but we'll not get that white bit in the middle because this wouldn't be rounded. I can't think that it would be so rounded because it has to be flat for the plants to sit on. You just can't see that bit, sorry. As usual, I just randomly move to a different bit that you can't see, but I am just colouring over. It's just sun's very bright now. And here. So I hope you're happy with my choice of page. I know quite a few people do have World of Flowers. I know there have been other tutorials done on this page though. But uh, hopefully um, it'll be fun. It, it won't be as long as the last one. I don't think there are as many items. Um, I would sort of do each pot separately. But some of them are quite big. Like this ivy. It sort of goes all the way down the whole page, which I think is great fun. But it'll take a bit of time to do. But uh, some of the small items won't take as long. And I have to decide, I haven't decided yet, but I think I will have a limited colour palette with regards to pots. Because we've got lots of green, and uh, I'm going to do most of the plants green. They might not all be. But I think with the pots, maybe we'll not do masses of different colours or else it's just going to look a bit mad. Now we've got a brick wall going on behind so we need to um, bear that in mind. We don't want to use the colours that we're going to use for the bricks so um, I'm not sure yet 
I may just do my first one and then use that for the rest, you know, just do it on a whim. We've got a lovely apple here to do, which will be great fun um, as well. We've got a ball of wool as well later. It's really interesting. Johanna likes to throw in a few odd bits and pieces, which I think is great. Now I'm going to make a playlist for this one, so if you miss any, you can go to that playlist and find them. Um, I'm not sure, I might call it wooden flower shelf, something like that, it's not very, um, not very um, inventive, but you'll know what it is then. And uh, then um, I'll pop them all in there, so it's, then yeah, as I say, if you miss one you'll be able to find it. Sorry, I'm concentrating and talking, it's never, uh, it doesn't always work very well. But this will be our afternoons video or depending on where you are if you're not in the UK it might not it might be evening it might be morning I don't know where you all are a lot of you in the US I think but then there's so many time zones across the USA then uh, you could be any time I think is there eight is that right I don't know it's quite an odd concept for us in the UK because we only have one and uh, so we're not used to thinking it's hard to imagine that if I was phoning somewhere in the country that I lived in I might have to think about whether they were going to be up or not you know I think it's a bit strange I'm sure many of you are used to it but uh, anyway and I think it's like how does the TV work you know, do, do some people, do you all watch the same programme but at different times of your day? So, like here we have the 10 o'clock news. I mean, there, you wouldn't. It would just be the news and it would be on at different times. I've just did a bit without you seeing. I'm sorry, without you noticing. Without, um, you know, be on at different times. I don't know how it would work. Right. I am just having a little look at the whole thing. Let me come out so you can see it all as well. Now I might, with wood, I usually add some wood grain and things like that. Um, I think we'll do that. Um, oops, I tend to like to use sepia, but I might not this time. I might use this, oops, if I can get it out. We'll use the walnut brown. I'm just going to give it a sharpen. Oh, sorry, reaching across my sharpener. I like it to be really sharp for this and what I'm going to do is make little lines across the wood. Maybe I will zoom in so you can see them. I have to try and remember to move the book. <laughs> we'll see, wish me luck. So, like this. And I think that gives a more woody approach. I hope you can see. I don't know. I think it just looks a bit like wood grain and obviously wood grain is much more complex than a few wispy lines but I like to keep it easy I wouldn't want to uh, make it too tricky so like that and then I do the same across all of the woody bits Seeing what you can see. And some of these bits of shelf aren't aren't um, perfectly coloured. There's a bit of white paper showing through. If yours is like that, you might want to burnish or you can't burnish, sorry, don't burnish. Um, you might want to blend it a little bit or add a bit more um, colour, but I don't mind. I think wood is supposed to be wood, it's a natural material, it's not going to be an even colour. Now I may add some more shading under some of the items as I colour them, um, like here, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to decide as I go. I just thought I would get a basic done today and this would take quite a long time so for an afternoon video it's quite a long one so uh, 
I thought I wouldn't, um, you know, do too much. Like here, I've missed a bit. I'm just going to colour it really gently in this wrong colour. There we go. Now, particularly on the edge, do a few shorter ones because um, they would have been cut through as the planks were cut. It's pretty, isn't it? I'd love this ball of wool, such fun. So some of these will be quite short and some of them will be significantly longer and I think that's okay. I might sort of think about what I'm doing for my other video in the day and sort of if I've got a long one put a short one that sort of thing but on the other hand I might not. Okay there's a few areas where I've gone over the lines and I'm just going to erase them now just because I might forget otherwise so it won't hurt too much polychromos are quite good at being erased which is nice okay let's go back out so you can see the whole thing so it isn't complex it's just quite a simple wooden design but I think it's oh I haven't done that end have I um, I think it's um, quite effective I'm just going to do this bit I'm not going to zoom in again or else I shall forget you and leave you behind, get carried away. You can do this in a dark sepia. Um, I avoided using my dark sepia because it's so short. Um, I need to um, get a new one. I have got a new one. I need to uh, replace it. But. Uh, um, or you could you could even any dark brown walnut I think in the polys would work as well. Okay, so there is our basic shelving, and I'm going to leave it there. It's been quite long, um, but only three pencils, but quite a lot of uh, colouring. Now, as I say, we'll do, leave our brick wall until the end, and we'll um, go ahead, and I'll probably just work methodically through. But we'll see how it goes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope um, you're going to tune in for the rest of the series. Um, hopefully it will be fun. And uh, thank you again and happy colouring. <laughs>